All right. Hello. Welcome to Color All the Things with me, Melissa. Um, I had taken kind of a impromptu survey on a live stream one day and asked some people, "What do you want me to? What do you want to see me? I can talk. I can. I can. What do you want to see me color in for these?" non live stream videos because um, I really enjoy going through an entire picture with you guys that was super fun the last the last two times I've done it so I'm just gonna keep it up um, one of the suggestions was Momo girl um, and I flipped through it and I came to this poppy page and um, this poppy page is just speaking to me on so many levels it's just it's such a gorgeous page I mean just look at this is it not just amazing this whole double page spread so poppies I've already got an idea for it poppy poppy color obviously um, her dress is going to be like a light violet grade lavender type thing I'm gonna use um, Prisma colors. Um, she's going to have dark brown hair and then the background is going to be turquoise. I haven't decided if I'm going to hand color the background with pencils or if I'm going to use my pan pastels. Uh, fair warning, I'm probably going to use my pan pastels. It is quick, it is easy, it gets me a gorgeous look without going nutso and spending, I, if I were to hand color the background, I would be spending days of just me sitting here coloring the background. I don't want to do that. Um, but what I do want to do is start on her skin. So like I said, I am using Prismacolor. I have my handy dandy swatch here. And believe it or not, I actually have a skin um, color combo already are you kidding me I didn't pull out my prismas I am so not with it oh, I already have the color combo it's chocolate henna nectar light peach and cream uh, it's a little bit different than some others um, but you know what that's what makes us all unique is is our choices in colors I'm done I'm using um, Prismas in a different picture and I want to make sure I'm not. So that's cream, that's light peach, that's nectar, that's henna, and that's chocolate. So I'm going to set this to the side. I'm going to pause, get some sharpen on this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. See, I got it nice and zoomed in. I'm going to slide on over so the face is nice and in camera. Make sure I have no bits of shavings on there. Just to let you guys know, I do use this M&R round two-hole sharpener. So you have the regular hole. And then for my bigger pencils, like my Holbein or my Luminance, um, and a lot of the Derwent pencils, um, if they don't go in my hand crank, my Helix A5, they go in this bigger, uh, this bigger hole. So there's two replaceable, um, what are these called? Blades. Um, I've replaced the small one already, though I didn't need to. I didn't realize all it needed was tightened. You do have to tighten this every now and then because it'll get loose and then you'll notice your pencils start breaking. You're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? The, it's loose. So that is what is happening. So we're going to start... There are only two bits of skin, so her face, and then you can see a bit of her hands down here. I'm going to do just the face first, and then I'll work on the hand next, because it, it's, I'd have to slide it. 
I do start with my darker colors um, in Prismas. I start with my darker colors because with Prisma, when you go over it, it the bottom layer takes on the properties then of the uh, above layer. And then if I need to re-darken or anything, I'll just go over afterwards. Again, I like my layers. I like doing things in layers. So this is Chocolate PC1082. And the artist has been kind enough to give a few hints of some shadowy areas. So I am going to go with those hints. Just a light layer right over those shadows. I will expand on some of this. Um, some of the shadowy areas and I do want to go right over that line I want to try I have this thing where um, I don't know why I'm trying to think where I want the shot the light coming from and I kind of want it over here or I could have it behind her Let's do it that way. Let's do it behind her. Um, I have this thing where I tend not to color on the uh, the lines, and so that leaves the lines fairly um, prominent. Which it's not like a terrible thing, but it is slightly noticeable. So I'm going to try to really make those lines less noticeable. I don't know if I'm going to go so far as to knock the lines out with a gel pen. Um, I am going to put a little bit back in here because this, this feels like wispy hair and not necessarily full blown hair. So I'm going to go back in here. Just pretend. Oh, it would help if I had the eraser out. So there's wispy bits of hair. I'll probably add some more um, once I'm done. You can see the artist gave you just a little bit of a hint of the eyebrow in here. Just a little bit. But so I want to keep that kind of theme of, well, maybe the hair isn't, you know, the hair isn't as thick as, as it appears. Um, so, you know, pull the brow into here. Then when you go over it with the wispy stuff, it's not going to be quite so noticeable. So I'm taking the, the hint that there's some deeper shadows under here. Apparently she's got bags under her eyes. Maybe she's not been sleeping very well. God knows I didn't last night. I'll tell you. My five-year-old. I don't know what woke her up. I don't know why. It was such a BFD. Um, but she just would not go back to sleep. And then I couldn't fall back asleep, which is highly annoying too. And you're like, no, I just, wanna, I just want to sleep, and you're just tossing it and turning. So, I'm hoping you guys can see, I may need to bring you down more, but I want to see if I can bring you down just a hair more without blocking off any part of the face. There we go. Let's do that. Um, I do expect this to be much more than three parts. Um, the, the three bouquets went, went very fast. 
Uh, it was very nice. Thank you guys for joining with me on that. Um, but this will this will not be that fast. And if for no other reason than just because of the skin. Skin takes a while. And especially skin like this that it holds so much beauty you really want to capture that. I'm going to move on to the henna now. The PC1031. You really want to capture all that beauty that's in this picture. And it can be difficult. Um, but mostly it's just time consuming and that's okay. I don't mind taking the time if you don't mind taking the time. See, I'm choked back pretty far on my pencil. This allows me to have a very, very, very light touch on the paper. Almost non-existent. And I'm really going into that hairline. Um, because when I go, I'm going to do the wispy. By wispy, I mean just the like flicks. That's how I'm going to end up doing her hair. And so, um, because it will be brown hair, those flicks will lose some of that fleshy tone that I'm putting in there. Um, which is fine. It's kind of what I want to do. So I'm just taking the henna. I've got the light coming in from this direction. Um, so you got some shadowy areas in here. And I have a big problem with not taking my shadows far enough or not taking the colors far enough out. Um, so I'm going to try to work on that for myself as well. I have a lot of things I want to work on and in September um, I'm going to work very hard on some realism um, adding some realism to a picture I need to pick one and one that's not difficult what I need to do is not do a Zelda Snova picture because that would I mean come on how long would that take, right? So I need to get it done in September, so I'm probably going to go into the Hannah books, really, and try to pull something akin to the three bouquets that we did and pull something like that to do. I'm going to pull this henna down to do the realism on. Um, I think that would be a much better realistic, feasible project instead of trying to do something like a so I'm just know the picture. Um, so I'm moving on to Nectar, which is PC1092. And what I'm doing with these light layers is I'm not necessarily... This will not be my final. And I won't take what I have here and then just go over it again with a harder pressure. I'm going to build it up. But this first layer is just me mapping where I want everything where I want the shadows, where I want the highlights, um, how far, 
not always how far I want to go with something. Um, Cause like I said, I don't go far enough typically, so I will in subsequent layers, build it up just a bit more. But this is just me mapping. I'm really just mapping this out, trying to find where I want everything, where it works best. It sounds like I might have to make a trip outside to find out why the kids are yelling. Oh, one of those days. They wanted to come inside, but yesterday they spent most of the day watching TV and I'm not entirely pleased with that. So today they have to play outside for a little while. So I'm really not sure. I don't want this whole spot to be a highlight. I'm trying to figure out where I want. To come in at. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Shame on me. Hope the lighting's okay. I know there's some shadow going on because the window's up there with the light and I'm curved around here. So just give me a second. Kind of plot out a little bit here. There we go. There we go. I want a cheek highlight, but I didn't want like this entire spot. So I'm going to switch to the light peach PC one. There's no one PC nine, two, seven. Again, this is just mapping stuff out. Cause the cream will be my super highlight. Doing this really blends together and I am shaking the table because this is too close to my table. Sorry about that. I'm trying to not shake the camera because that was really annoying me and I don't know how you guys dealt with it. You guys are troopers because it was super annoying me and I wasn't even watching the videos back. Now I'm going to take my cream, just PC914. And I'm still going to go over everything because I like those slight yellowish tone it adds to the colors. So I'm really just going over everything. I will not have a pure white 
highlight Income and gifts, maybe, yes. Yeah. All right. So I really like the yellow tone that this gives. I swear, the oldest boy over there, he's Kaylee's age, so he's not like older than my girls, but he makes the younger kids come and talk to me about stuff. I'll, like today I told them they have to play outside some they were inside too much yesterday and it's you know it's cloud cover it's a good time to play outside until it starts getting warmer and um, so he just sent Zoe in to tell me that they had played outside enough and I was like it's not his decision that's my decision my decision is you haven't. Go play. Oh, I hate kids like that. Like, that bugs me. That really bugs me. It's like my, my oldest, she'll, she'll tell Zoe to do something. I'm like, you're not the mom. That's not something you get to tell her. Oh, that's just my biggest pet peeve. I've seen so many of these Momo girls. Girls with poems. I've seen so many of them done so beautifully. And I'm hoping I can do this one justice. So, now I'm going to take my five colors and I'm going to skip around. I'll try to remember to tell you which ones I'm using. Um, but they're all distinctive enough that I think you should be able to see which one I'm using. Um, but I'll try to remember. So I'm actually going to go in with the nectar right now. And do some more shading. Why is that still rocking? So I have delved deep, deep into the fountain pen world. Oh man, I'm so hooked. It's terrible. Terrible in a good way. I need to start practice writing because my writing's atrocious. I think it's terrible. My husband thinks it's really good. That's me writing with a 005 micron. I mean, it's okay. It's, I mean, it's legible at least. Um, but when I start writing fast, like that was me slowing down. When I start writing fast, it gets pretty, yuck. So, and if I'm gonna write with a fountain pen, I want it to be pretty and neat. So I need to do practice writing. I need to write every day. I've got out of that hob habit, you know, um, with technology and everything that's popped up. Um, like handwriting has gone by the wayside. My poor, my poor Kaylee, she's got some atrocious handwriting. Oh my gosh open like when they get those little questionnaires like what do you hope your kid improves upon this year it's gonna be handwriting because last year it was reading I was like oh I want her to work on her reading 
And, well, that's all fine and dandy. She can read. She just chooses not to. And she chooses to pretend she's worse at it than she actually is when we're reading together. And I'm really, I don't know what that's about, but she's like, I don't want to read. Well, one day, honey, one day you will find your joy in it. I told her that and she goes, what does that mean? <laughs> one day you'll enjoy it. husband just found out he's going to have to go to the UK and I think we think September I don't know they keep it was September then he wasn't going and he was going to have to go to Singapore and then then it was no we need you here in October so they're like trying to finalize all that stuff um, though it did turn out he doesn't have to go to Singapore which is nice I hate when he's gone. I mean, I like that he goes and that he has fun and gets to experience new things because he, he's the type of person that digs that. Like, me, new place, I'd be freaking out. Fetal position in the hotel going, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> There's too many people in London. He digs it. Like, that's his thing. That's his element. Um, so I love that he gets to go, but I can't sleep when he's gone. Like, I sleep, but very, very lightly, and everything wakes me up. And now with the two cats, I can only imagine how much they're going to wake me up while he's gone. Just every little sound, and you know how it goes, I'm sure. talked to my mom about that she was like yeah imagine the whole year your father was gone to Okinawa she was pregnant with Jamie my little sister she's six years younger so I was I was six five six my brother was three maybe even two because his birthday was just after Jamie was born. So, that doesn't sound fun. The first, the first time he left on business, after I had Kaylee, there was a giant hailstorm that rolled through, destroyed my car, absolutely totaled it. Hail the size of the palm of my hand. <clears throat> baseball size hail it was terrible it was frightening I had tossed her into um, the, the tub light peach while I called him and he was like yeah it's fine out here in Salt Lake City I'm like you bastard it's like I'm gonna have to go hitch a ride and to clean out my daughter's car seat of all the broken glass, hitch a ride with my brother, called him. He came and got us, and we had to drive to the airport parking to get my husband's car. Ugh. It was horrible. So now every time uh, every time he leaves, oh! And the, the, oh my God. So I didn't control the finances for the first couple years we were together. That has since changed. And this is one of the reasons why he was on leave, not on leave. He was on travel, uh, for work for the DOD. And, um, I get a knock at the door and I go answer it. And Kaylee's probably one at this time. 
and um, it's the water the water guy and he's like I'm here to disconnect your service I'm like wait wait what I'm like what's going what do you mean disconnect my service it's like I thought my husband's been paying the bills he goes no you're you're three months overdue you owe four hundred and fifty dollars um, you can either pay it right this moment or I'm going to have to disconnect. I'm like, well, I don't have $450 to pay you right this minute. I said, my husband's on leave. I need to, you know, he's on travel. I need to call him. Um, can you just hold off for a couple hours? And he said, no, I can't. I'm, I'm out here. I have to do it. And I'm holding my baby and I'm like, tears are in my eye. I'm not mad at him. I'm mad at Dave. And I'm just like, but what am I supposed to do for, for formula? And what am I, you know, what am I supposed to cook with and flush the toilet with? And he was like, well, go get some water bottles. He's like, go fill up a few pans of water. I'll wait about 15 minutes. So I did that. And then the water was shut off and I called Dave and he was like, oh, I guess I forgot to pay that. Oh, you want to talk about livid. You want to talk about livid. So he called and paid on the phone. He was like, but they can't turn it back on because it was a Friday. He was like, they can't turn it back on till Monday. And he wasn't going to be back until Sunday. I was so pissed. So flipping pissed. Needless to say, he doesn't have control over the bills anymore. <laughs> I'm going out with cream. I love that guy. He's a big picture guy. Like he's got our 401k down and he's, you know, we're investing and we've got stocks and the whole shebang. Like he's got all of that down. He's got our retirement planned and everything. Make sure the money's there and, and whatnot. The like day-to-day -day bills and stuff? No. What do you mean I have to pay the water every month? Can't I just... What had ended up happening is we had moved from his bachelor apartment to a, a, a bigger apartment. So we had the baby and um, he had had auto pay for the water. Well, for whatever reason, he thought it had just like auto switched when we moved. Like He didn't think anything of it. He thought it would just, you know, keep doing it. So he didn't pay attention. So we were in that apartment for like three months before, um, before he realized, before I got the dude knocking at my door saying the water's getting shut off. It's like, no, you can't do that. I hate auto pay for that reason. I need, I need notice. So none of my stuff is on auto pay. Except for he still has the state farm on auto pay. That's just because we get a discount for doing that. But nothing else is on auto pay. Everything else, well, except for like Netflix and stuff like that. All those monthly subscription things, those are auto pay. But like none of the gas, electric, any of that, none of that's auto pay. All of that I have to physically click buttons. So, but yeah, so that was my life for the first couple years with Dave. Let me tell you, the electricity got cut off once for non-payment because, and that, that wasn't even that wasn't even his fault. That was actually their fault. But still, like, it was, of course, it happened on, like, a Friday afternoon, and they couldn't do anything until Monday morning. So. I tell you. Then I had a dream last night that, oh, I hate my dreams like this. And they're what keep me up. That's it. I know Zoe woke me up, but this dream would have, like, woke me up anyway 
I get dreams of my ex-husband coming coming back or asking for me back or or something like that and like I say no and I walk away but like he doesn't leave me alone and I can say it 15 different ways I can you know whatever and he's just like no no you really have to no. I'm like no I'm I've got a life I've got a husband I love I've got kids like I don't I don't want you, I don't need you. You need to just go away. And he doesn't, and it's annoying, and I don't understand. I need like a dream interpreter, I think. Those bathroom dreams. Chocolate. Bathroom dreams are the worst. I hate those. Cause there's never any either there's no toilet paper. Every toilet is stopped. Stopped up. Or there's no doors so everybody can see your business. And I don't understand. My mom has the same damn dreams. Exact same. Like we were, she was like, what is going on? I was like, I don't know. It's weird though. You see, I'm just building this up. Oops. I mean to hit, hit that. I'm just really just building up. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see all of the skin on stream. Or not on stream, but on um, video. Or if you don't mind me finishing up the skin on my own. Because I, I can sit here for hours working on the skin. I don't necessarily know if that's something you wish to see. I mean, because like I said, I can hours. No joke, hours. I think I want something a little darker than chocolate though. So I'm probably going to pull this espresso. Let me do that. The chocolate's just not quite dark enough. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and that's okay. I'm always willing to pull in different colors if I find what I have not quite fitting the bill. So, I'm going to use Espresso PC1099. Just a hair darker in here. Especially back in here. Like this is really where I need some darkness. And right back in here. See, and I just find that adds just A good bit of contrast there. It's right in here. I'm not going wild with it. I'm trying not to. Poor thing, she's got some backs under those eyes. Define that nose just a bit more. Yes, I like it. And coming good. Hmm. That was a Liam says he wants to come inside. Well, must suck to be Liam. Anyway. I can see the slowly taking shape here. Really just want some dark spots. Not everywhere. Just here and there. Alright, 
Now I'm going to go back with the chocolate and see it taking shape. She's starting to look like a person. Not just a, a flat drawing on the on the paper. Oh, that skin so soft bug spray really gets me. I was sprayed it on the girls because Zoe was getting heat up. And it's really strong. I made the mistake of spraying it in my office instead of taking them into the laundry room like I normally do. So that was really my fault. Come down just a little bit on the nose. Yes. I look over at the um, the computer screen every now and then just to get an idea of what you're seeing and it also gives the perspective of stepping back without physically stepping back which is helpful I hope you all don't mind me using Prismas. I was going to use my Pablos. Then I wanted something a little more universal. Um, of a pencil that, you know, everybody could at least relate to, if not have. I'm going to go back in with the nectar. Yeah, I'm in deep with this fountain pen stuff, guys. It's terrible. Terrible in a good way. So I'm thinking I'm gonna with the kids going back to school. I'm probably gonna go back to school, but uh, I don't know what for. I was just thinking I'm like 37. I don't know what I want to do with my life. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? I don't know what I want to do. And the community college here, which would be a bit cheaper to, to do, doesn't really have anything that interests me. Like it's all, it's all either computer programming, which is nice, um, but that's never been an interest of mine. Where it's agriculture and I have no desire for agriculture, like none, or it's animal feed and cares, like I'm not a farmer, I don't, I find it weird that community college in such a city I mean, granted, you you can go five miles out of the city and, and find a farm. I mean, that's, I understand that. But why isn't there a community college, like, out there? Why does it have to be in the city? Really, what I want is just, like, technical writing, um... I don't know. I don't know what I want. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much to think about.
and take the light peach now. We're, we're coming up on the home stretch here with this skin. I'm actually not going to do too much more on this. Really just trying to blend that out. I'm not necessarily trying to get rid of any of the pencil look. I'm kind of digging that lately. But I am trying to blend. And smooth and all that fun stuff. So I don't know what I want to do with my life. My husband wants to make it a job, but I need a job that can be flexible. Whereas, you know, customer service and all that, that's not very flexible. <sighs> I need a flexible job. saw some kids walk in front of my house. Pretty sure that was my kid and the neighbor kid, but they went by too fast. I think they went to the backyard to play on the trampoline. Which is good, at least they're playing outside. I still think she's a little light. So, let's see. I'm going to test something. So, I'm going to take my nectar. I'm going to pull it up higher. Take my henna. Pull it up higher. See, that's a little more. I'm going to take my cream. the light peach. So now I think I'm going to finish off sections at a time. Starting with the back shoulder area. There we go. I like that. There's not a whole lot that needs to be done in this neck area. It was very shaded. I'm going to take the cream. Sounds like Miss Kaylee is getting bossy pants. Hold on. Ugh. I swear. Kids. Alright, where was I? I was doing... Do some light peach. The big kids always, always, always make the little kids go last. It's really kind of annoying. 
And I know where the little kids are coming from. Kayla was right that her and Liam were at the trampoline before they even decided to come over. So, you know, what do you do? Cream. But now James, the little one, he's like, I've got to do some karate. He just squeals and screams. Oh. There's that. Taking henna now. Jawline darkened up. But I was teasing my husband, so he's got to go to London, right? So I was like, you know what they have in London? <laughs> he's like, no, Melissa. What do they have in London? <laughs> like, they have a pen shop. Literally, it's called the pen shop. Or the pen store. And he was like, nope, they closed that years ago. <laughs> like, no, they didn't. Uh, lying. Like what? So you want me to go to England and buy you a fountain pen? I was like, I could order it online. That's not like, I just thought you might like the experience. <laughs> he gave me a look. Apparently that wasn't as amusing to him as it was to me. But he'll do it. I'm gonna lay me your whole star. I want it clear so I can see the ink. This is nectar, by the way. Then going in with light peach. Uh, I'm still not doing hard pressure. I'm probably at light medium. Um, basically just letting the weight of my hand on the top of this pencil weigh it down. Um, but I'm not pushing. I like doing that. I like using 
the weight of my hand to add pressure before I physically add pressure. Um, it keeps my hand from hurting. Going around this little highlight area here. Now I'm going in with a bit harder pressure. Just to even the tone out. Get rid of any visible pencil strokes or anything like that. Um, and a few right in here it looks like I have some very visible pencil strokes. I'm gonna try to work that out. I don't want I don't want that. I don't want the pencil strokes. Now I'm gonna go in with the cream and this should be it. You know what? I need it darker. It's just gotta be darker. So I'm taking the espresso. Need a higher contrast. There we go. That's better. Short of grabbing the black, which I really don't want to do. bits in there every now and then. Gotta get them out. Take the chocolate and just a little more defined lip line. Just a little bit. Nothing too, nothing too fancy. Just a touch more defined. I think I'm happy with that face. Let's zoom out. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I like it. I really like that. That turned out very nice. Dark enough in spots, not too light. I'm really trying not to, not to go too light on things. I'm really, really pleased. 
with my defined nose here. I have trouble with that, so that is a great accomplishment for me, as well as this little chin area. Um, you really gotta, s kids. <sighs> if it didn't work the first time, ask, ask again. So we're gonna work on these hands here. Let's see, I got move. There we go. So I'm actually going to start with the nectar. I'll start with this hand back here. I don't know what this is. Little triangle is. It's really gonna annoy me. Maybe it's part of her shirt. So again, light is coming from this direction. So my shadows are going to be on this side, on the left side. I'm a left side shadow person, so you'll notice most of my work has shadows on the left. It's just easier as a right-handed person to do that. And go in with the henna. These are all the same colors as the face. Oh, goodness. Okay. Maybe. Oh, I swear I'll be able to finish this. I swear. I may end up just doing this thumb and calling it because it is a madhouse today. So here's chocolate. And light peach. And because I did the face, it, the look I'm going through for is a little easier to achieve with less layers. So I'm taking an espresso. Hopefully I can go a bit faster. On this then say the face. It's still the same colors. It's still pretty much the same order of colors. This cream. Go back to the henna now. And then light peach. Wait, that was nectar. This is henna. Jeez. Light peach. Apparently I've got my little one creeping in my window. <laughs> there there's the thumb I am gonna stop here guys just because my house is getting a little crazy I thought I had some extra time but I didn't but so we've got a good start um, 
I'll finish this up on the next video. I'm gonna put this in my dream like unicorn bag. Except for the espresso because I'm using that for a different picture. So, I will see you all next video. Um, oh, and by the way, links for everything is in the description down below. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me what you guys think. If this is something you're digging or not, if that is the case, I would like to hear that too. Don't just, don't just thumbs down. Let me know. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.